And I really like thinking about things and how we can do better, taking the time to learn and each week to, to try a new dish, try a new product. A head cheese is made all over, forever, with different things. The caviar gelatin is, is made everywhere. Um, panisse is made constantly, right? So it's just, it's just adapting to what you have available. Um, you know, using the resources around you and, and taking those traditional techniques and just making it into something that's personal to you. The menu, I like challenges. So it's a good challenge and you know some of these stuffs I'm not using, some I use. We're going to use the, um, the bloodline for the panisse um, and it'll make like, it'll be like a cracker. No. <laughs> Nobody uses ahi bloodline for anything. So it's brine for two days and then hot smoked. Well, you can see how much from the brining, how much of the blood comes out. My highlight tonight was the ahi bloodline panisse. Uh, that was just one of those dishes where uh, Chef Peel kind of described it as he was a little bit like on the fence of even trying it, but it was actually really delicious. And the way he presented it was like on this crispy bread that was like just soaked in this fat and it was all, you know, just like really succulent and unctuous. I love referring back to childhood, nostalgia, eyeballs. My grandpa used to always eat it and gross me out. I've never had them. I mean, eyeballs are round, right? So I figured it sucks. I'm gonna make caviar out of it. We're braising it in a light tensuyu. And then we're gonna serve that with some old poi blinis. It is technically on its way out. So we're gonna use something that would be kind of a waste and serve it with some eggs, like a caviar set. Hard boiled eggs and creme fraiche. And... As there's a lot of meat up in here. And then the cheek meat here. Here, sorry, and then this skin is really, really gelatinous. So that'll all make our head cheese. It's kind of crazy how many different textures you can get out of the fish that you can actually eat. Tonight it was very cool to like see, you know, the very intricate process of being able to utilize the whole fish. And you know, there's so many different things that can come out of this one fish. Instead of just making a filet, making a tartare, making a ceviche, a sashimi, you know, you can really spend the time and the energy to break it down. A lot of people tonight really got to experience like how this stuff can be used in a restaurant. These guys offer a beautiful template on how you can use each of these ingredients, each of these cuts of the fish. I see that as, you know, you can show these dishes to chefs throughout Hawaii and they can be inspired so I think there's a lot of opportunity here for chefs to use something that is uh, low cost and sustainable. You know, chefs are always looking for like different new innovative ways to like inspire their guests too. And this is, this is it. And hopefully everybody understands it takes time to get all of this stuff done. And it takes time from every side. 